Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I will be making a geode wall art and here I have my frame already prepared and I have drawn on uh, markings where I want my colors to go. So now I have a Pebeo outliner and I will be putting lines, marks on these lines. So this is going to be like a little barrier when the resin will be poured and so they uh, stay in the designated area. Um, this frame that I got here is about 30 times 40 centimeters and it was on sale in Asda for about three pounds uh, so I said it's a great price I can definitely do something with it and I'll take it so here I am just carry on putting outliner on the marks I must apologize about my voice because I have blocked nose and probably you can notice that. So I was making these outlines and I noticed that uh, I'm not gonna have enough the product and I had to stop. So anyway I waited a good 24 hours until the outliner was uh, at dry and hard and now I'm mixing my first color and I'm pouring it into the place and I'll be working slowly with this because I don't want to rush things I was really inspired by this idea when I started but you know, I started this project last year and it has taken me a long time to finish it. Um, some is because uh, of uh, delayed packages, uh, uh, because we had uh, Royal Mail strikes here in UK, so everything got delayed big time. Um, second of all, because simply I had no time to do it. It was lots of small steps to do to get over and yeah it took really long time but now that I'm finished it I absolutely love it. So I put down my colored uh, resin and I have from resin 8 crushed glass different colors and I'm just sprinkling over it and then letting to cure and this is the next day I'm going with uh, this green teal it's my next ring and you know people I do love my blues and greens so most of my works are in these colors and yeah, doing these kind of rings, it takes a lot of concentrations and focus. And because the resin is really thick, that is great. Uh, I had to man maneuver it in the right place. And I absolutely love this resin. It's really thick and uh, works well with making art. It is Apex resin from Just For You Online UK. I will try to uh, put in description as much many products as I can. Uh, in this project I use lots and lots of stuff so I try to add everything once I upload it for you on Wednesday and now you are watching it and it's been uploaded and everything's fine 
So just pop bubbles. And this is the crush crystals. Again, I'm going over with a spoon, sprinkle, and try to cover equally. At the moment, it looks like kind of scrambled egg art. And after this ring, I had to stop because my uh, Pebeo outliner was the one item that was missing. Uh, I ordered it on Amazon and I have Prime, so supposed to come like next day delivery, but it came after two weeks. So I did wait long time for it. And it was different gold, which was a bit upsetting, but after you'll see that I will be covering these lines. So in the end, the outliner didn't really play any, the color didn't play any part at all. So that's it, I waited again that uh, it get dry and this is the next day, I'm going with blue. I know this is quite long video but it took lots and lots and lots steps. And I had about four hour editing from um, all the videos that I recorded and I tried to edit as best as I can, but I'm not the best editor. And so I apologize and I hope that you still enjoy this video. And you always can just skip ahead where you think you will enjoy better. And as the process was going ahead, I found it more and more tricky to pour the lines. and especially by the frame I try to keep it neat because I thought that I gonna keep it neat and this is the kind of frame that I will have and yeah here I have the darker blue uh, crushed crystals and again I'm sprinkling over it to create this uh, beautiful shimmery texture and this is the next day a new ring was will be about to filled i tried to go darker blue black so basically I tried to go from lighter center to darker edges and then came the new year everything's fine and on Netflix I start to watch episodes called Sandman and I am absolutely obsessed, obsessed with these episodes, with this actor, with the part that he plays. And after a little debate in my brain, I decided to call this piece a hope. And it's kind of uh, gonna be the first of 
my series there are gonna be three pieces of art so this is hope then one is gonna be dream and the third piece is gonna be called silver lining and they kind of created uh, under uh, Sandman spell so now I mixing making dirty cup and uh, this mix of resin will be poured in between those lines because as the geode goes in between it has lines as well so I was thinking dirty cup is going to be a great way how to achieve these part of this line and make it more interesting and I'm not showing you how I mix the dirty cup because it would add to the video even more so here it is I'm just pouring and trying to go as fast as I can it was late in the evening and I thought I will be able to achieve and finish this layer but to be frank it took a long time and lots of focus that in the end I was quite tired and had to leave it till the next day and even the resin was starting to cure on me and I said okay I'll just leave it today. So I think that's about it for my speaking part. I think I have spoke a lot today. We are 20, 12 minutes in the video and I think now is the time that I'm going to put some music for you and just let you enjoy finishing me this first layer. So I have finished my resin part and now I am attaching uh, resin uh, crystal quartz uh, into the middle and I made these ones some time ago uh, they are I thought they will work well with this piece so I'm just sticking them down and I like to do odd numbers so five seven or nine
and meanwhile I wait that they the glue uh, gets dry 100% I am making my glitter mix that is going to be for resin lines around so I'm making blue and green and I place them in the bag after cut a little hole so it's kind of um, easier to make uh, resin lines with glitter so that's one and these glitters are from company just for you online UK they are absolutely gorgeous and have in many different colors so today I'm just using blue and green and uh, speaking about the mix uh, it's kind of 50 50 because uh, the more glitter uh, it added the more line the better line is gonna come out so it's not gonna be so runny but although also I was waiting for about an hour so the resin is about to cure because I wanted my lines to be proper lines and here for the very first time I did order white sand and here I am mixing it together with uh, resin with some white mica pigment and I have this beautiful sparkle that I'm also adding to and um, I will be placing this mix in between the crystal points and here I go I know it's a bit tricky to get in these small crevices and I noticed that the uh, sand mix is a bit too runny so I add more sand because I would like to achieve this kind of fluffy effect but at the moment it was more like kind of porridge one so it's all about learning this is from another angle I'm going slowly slowly and then I understood that this uh, first ring is gonna disappear because uh, it just didn't make any sense to have there so I added a bit more sand and now I'm going with my blue resin glitter mix in the bag and I'm going around and I'm going around these lines so I try to hide them because as you saw they were in different gold color so I'm not I didn't want to keep them and now I'm going with the green one so this is uh, Pebeo again uh, glue that I'm applying and after I will be adding uh, gold leaf I think it's a mirrored leaf and yeah now I'm just uh, trying to spread it around and it says on the packet that it uh, dries in one two hours but in my case I had to wait the whole day right while I'm waiting I'm going on to the next step and I'm mixed gold uh, floating gold pigment with varnish and just going around this uh, sand mixture that has cured and yeah painting it this uh, step I really enjoyed it was really therapeutic
and now I'm going with different um, resin mix here was white with some uh, glitter uh, going around I thought white would look good pop a bit so that was uh, the idea why I used white so this is the next day the glue has dried and I am applying this gold mirror sheet which is first for me I had to watch video because I made mistake and yeah it works really well and I absolutely love it So this is the second uh, kind of layer finished and this is how it's looking now. So I will apply just a clear coat and let it to cure. And then after this one I will move on for some more lines. And also maybe you spotted, uh, basically I painted my uh, frame black and uh, it was just because I messed it up, I uh, touched with uh, dirty resin so it wasn't anymore perfectly grey and uh, I spray painted uh, and uh, now it's black and I'm really happy honestly how it's looking
And now finally on the final final clear layer I mixed quite a lot of resin here and honestly I wish I mix a bit more oh well next time anyway it was all right just maybe a bit tiny bit more would be better to cover it all 100% so here I'm spreading all around I'm not wearing gloves I apologize for that but I knew that I'm not gonna get my hands dirty and here I'm going around popping the bubbles and I will leave it to dry and here it is a couple days later my piece of art is finished and it's very shiny and it's beautiful I'm so happy that I made it and it was lots of fun and also lots of new techniques and experiences and overall it's really great and the name for this piece is hope <laughs>